Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing Penumbra Overture. And I think I actually missed this on the last episode, so we're going to read this real quick and just see what it's all about. It's Copenhagen Post, Friday 25th, December 1970. Superstition extinct? Death mine still breathing? A worker at the Northwestern Iron Mine, Greenland, is missing, presumed dead. As of midnight last night, locals fear foul play, murder. Ah. Mining now forms the largest single industry in Greenland. At 16 years old, the Northwestern Iron Mine is a relatively new part of a larger complex, which also includes a lead operation and is built on the site of an older mine, later converted into a military bunker and finally closed in 1952. Yes. That's right, because in the 40s, I think they started work here. Or maybe even before that, I don't know, maybe in the 1800s? Oh. I haven't found any documentation later than 1945, I think, so. The iron mine retains its excellent work record. In spite of the recent disappearance of an as yet unnamed worker, we have discovered that the man in question was a young laborer brought in from mainland Europe, possibly Denmark, and authorities on both sides of the strait are currently attempting to contact any family he may have left behind. The man disappeared 10 days ago and the mine foreman has now exercised his power to declare him presumed dead. This decision, we're told, was not taken lightly. A full search of the mining operation was commissioned to no avail. Without the appropriate equipment or transport, the man could not have survived on the surface. <laughs> Shit, no. <laughs> it's like negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit up there? I don't know. It's cold. It's cold in Greenland. Although superstition in Greenland has seen a decrease in popularity over the past years, some local inhabitants still claim that the land itself is cursed. This very paper ran a report almost 40 years ago to the day discussing high suicide figures for the area. Yeah, we've heard about that already. Apparently, um, there's a lot more suicides in this region. But it didn't seem like that dramatic of, a, of an increase in suicide rates. I don't know. But findings at the time were considered to be inconclusive. Lars Jensen. Okay, thank you, Lars, for letting us know about all that. So we're all done here and close this. That's creepy in there. We don't need back in there. So we've got to figure out what to do now. Because there's like a whole thing that I must have missed because there was nothing in there. I didn't get anything. Oops. I didn't get anything and um, it didn't progress into a new area. Like, it was pretty much a dead end. Very disappointing, I would say. But I still feel like we had to go there. We did talk to Red, that dude. That dude is mad. He is- What? Oh no, the dog! Okay, let's see if we can outrun it. Oops, see ya. What's this? It will never be opened again. The door has been forged shut. Huh, well how do we get into that room then? It's the refinery. See how far does this thing follow me? Pretty far! Dodge and weave! Dodge and weave! That did not work. I really figured it would have to. Oh no, 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 there's another one! Run! Oh, at least there's a door here. So we'll lose them for a minute, but I think I've already been in here. Oh, it's locked! Oh, that's so bad. You get out of here. You get out of here? No! Wait, what did I just get hit by? Okay, well... That locked door, <laughs> that locked door was bad. I'm gonna have to kill these things, I think. I think I am. It's not so easy, though. It's quite difficult. Ah, here's a map, that's what I really need. I work for that damn dog. Okay, well. Stop it, stop moving. Stop moving. God! So you cannot move and attack at the same time. So that's kind of where the trouble's at. 
Um, what I do want to try is putting this this beef jerky. This beef jerky has never worked for me. Has never worked. Here, eat this. Leave me alone. He's not interested. He says no. They keep backing up. Stop it. Well, this might take forever. I really wish I could open that cage first. Maybe we can do something with this. Let's see. I'll put this right here and we'll see if it like... It's not going to distract him, but it might like trip him up. Come on. Trip him up. <laughs> Good. Oh, it totally worked. I can't believe it worked. Oops. Oh, he's running away. I haven't seen that before. Oh, he's calling back up. He's calling back up. Okay, run into that. Damn. Uh oh, now we're good. Now we're not good. Now it's bad. Now things are bad. Oh, run. Run, 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 run. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? I think I hurt my leg. Okay, we're just gonna have to edit all this crap out because this is ridiculous at this point. I wish this would work better. I wish the beef jerky would work. So where are we trying to go exactly? Let's take a look. Where are we right now? Can we zoom in? I don't have eagle eyes. In fact, I don't even have my glasses on, so I can't see nothing. Is that where we are? We're at the top? So where do we want to hug? The left? We went into the refinery and couldn't get in there. Hmm, what else can I do here? Bolt cutters. I really do have to kill this thing. Here, can I open this? No, this won't open. How about this one? From this side? No. Well, it looks like he went back a little bit, so maybe I'll be able to avoid him. What's this? I don't remember seeing... Oh, yes. It will never open again. I do remember that. So, there's no way to crawl through. There's no vents. There's nothing like that. Maybe that's a place I've already been. Oops. Damn. Here, let's see if we can... No running away. There, finally. No! Just, just be dead. God. Okay, so finally we can look at this. Ah, I see. It doesn't even say that that is a door anymore. So section C, that's where we were. We didn't get... Did we? Oh, maybe we got a number. Let's take a look. Let's make sure we didn't. I found a door leading to Sector C, but I need a code. Did I get the code? No, it definitely wouldn't have been there. Hmm. I don't think I ever saw it. I think I would have known. I think I would have known. So let's... Let's take a look. The refinery. So shaft 13, I feel like we haven't been in yet. If we go down this way. And it's not the first left. Oops. No, I must have gone the wrong way. Damn. And then another map. I must have gone the wrong way. Ah, here. So where are we exactly? So we need to go. Ah. Here, over to here, and then just down here, I believe, shaft 13. Have we already been here? I feel like very much we might have already been here. We're going to find out the hard way. Yeah, we have. Hmm. And there was nothing. There is this. Actually, if I could crawl through here, can't seem to do that, though. Maybe with some dynamite? I have dynamite. I don't think that's going to help me here. You think the pickaxe would work, though? So that's right, I do remember. 
Maybe if we can neutralize all this crap down here. Bolt cutters, huh? We do have the bolt cutters. Nope, can't cut those bolts. Those aren't bolts. So, there's nothing that stands out here. There's nothing that's like, oh, this is definitely it. Um, there's a railing piece. Yeah. Those rocks look loose. I might be able to shift them, but they're more likely to bury me alive. Here, look, see? Nope. Oh, it's, it's kind of saying, it's, it's kind of implying that there is something I can do with that. I can't imagine what it would be, though. Let's try the padlock. No, no. Okay, not sure yet. I'll have to come back to it. At least we're not being chased by a dog anymore. For now. Okay, there's another map. Here. This, this is what we need. So the refinery, I might want to go back over there and just... See if maybe there's another way. Oh. Never did figure this out. Now there's the dog. Try and get behind him. Because I want to head to the refinery, but I don't need something chasing me. Nipping at my heels. Okay, nothing there. Refinery, refinery, right down this way. I think. Oops. Yeah, there's a dog, but it's far enough away. It shouldn't see us. So, where did I go? I went the wrong way tonight. I need to go down there. Mm. So there's definitely a dog here, though. Where'd he go? Is he coming back? Yeah, he's kind of coming back. I think if I can get the jump on him... I just don't want him going away from me, because as long as he's in front of me, I can just keep hitting him. But the second that, uh... What does that do? What is the point of that? Oh, I can't open it. So you think I can trap a dog in there and, like, kill it with the steam? I don't know. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna waste my time trying to figure that out. Okay, I think I missed the refinery. I think it's down here. Sorry, dog. I wouldn't kill you if I didn't have to. Here, this is what we want. This is what we want to open. So it's locked, but... Is there a way... Is there something I missed here? I don't see anything. S am I sure I didn't get a code? You know what? I feel like... We can try the hammer. <laughs> no! Nope! We'd have to go around somehow, but... The only way I can think to do that would be from behind... It? Maybe? Let's take a look here. Where's the map? They're everywhere. The maps are everywhere, and now I can't find one. <laughs> How silly of me to lose all the maps. Okay, so here is one. So, we've been to section, like, this section. Uh, we did not find... We did not find a code to go to section C. So now we're over here at shaft 12. Which I feel like... We sufficiently... We'll have to go back there, though, because the refinery is locked. Shaft 13 we can't get to. because there's a rock in the way. So let's go back. We must have missed something. I believe. No, definitely not here. It would definitely be... Definitely, definitely. Into here. Come on! So, 
What we didn't consider was that the code might be on the wall? Maybe? Actually, I didn't consider anything about the code because I figured... I, f I, I didn't figure anything, I just forgot about it. Go home, chair, you drunk! Is there anything over here? Let me in there, I want to go in there. So, devour. Hey, left. The blood is lonely, deep in the head. I don't see any code. Hmm. No, that's not the answer. There was nothing in there. Oh, can't read anything there. Can't be it. I really don't think there's anything here. Must have missed something. But I need a code to unlock it, and I didn't find a code, right? Greenland Myths. No, definitely not. And I read all the way through this. Hmm. There must be one more room I'm missing. There absolutely must be. Hmm. Let me take a look here. Oh, I'm pretty sure I fell through that at one point in time. This is not movable! Absolutely not movable. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Refinery we went to. Section C. I don't think I took care of all the dogs, so... Oh, my flashlight's running low. I, I have plenty of flares. I'm not too worried. So that's Shaft 13. There's got to be something... with Shaft 13. There's a rock in the way. I don't have anything. I have dynamite. And flares. So all of this, save for what's no, <laughs> find something down here to screw. A saw rusty enough that I wish I'd had that tetanus shot. And bolt cutters. I've used both of those. Here, let's go back. Let's go back to. Uh... Oops, where was I heading back? To? We're gonna go back to the tool shed. Just real quick. Make sure I didn't miss anything down here. Here we go. So there's... There's a code somewhere. Maybe I missed it in here. Maybe it's in here. Here, let's move some things around a, a little bit. See if we can find anything at all. Anything that we may have missed. Barbed wire. Now we're digging through barbed wire for. Hmm. No, I'm sure of it. Nothing's here. This is so very strange. So one door is welded shut. We'll never get into there. There's got to be something with that Shaft 13. There's got to be. Something we're missing here. I am absolutely sure. Okay, we can't go down there. Can we grab that? Oh, look. How did I miss this? I went right down here. I told you there was something here. I knew it the whole time. This place is trying to kill me! I've gotta get a grip! I hear scurrying. 
I hear scurrying. Okay, let's see what collapses. Something collapsed that way. Uh oh, there's spiders. Okay, we're in trouble now. We're in trouble. We're in trouble! Oh no, there's spiders down there too! Oh no! I can't run. Oh, spiders! Jeez! They're everywhere! This is so bad! Oh, we went the wrong way! We went the wrong way! Come on! No, 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 no! Get out of here! I'll light you on fire! Get out of here! Ow! There's no way to dodge them! There's no way! Oh! Okay, so we definitely went the wrong way, so let's try this again with going the right way. So I guess we go down here as fast as we can. Fortunately, we can't run. Can't run. So we just have to move quickly. And this was a dead end. Well, that's bad. That's definitely going to get us killed. Yeah, no. Got out of here. Uh, can't make it. These things are too fast. They're too good. Wow, that's really bad. Just a whole nest of them. Come on, let's keep going. We gotta figure out where to go. Here. This is where we need to be. Okay, so now what? How do I get them to go away? Go away! Can I smash it with a rock? Okay, let's see. Let's trick them. Yes, be dead. Okay, let's make sure no more come through there. Here, we'll, we'll wall it up a little bit. Oh, this is not going to help. That's not going to do nothing. <laughs> um, I'm hurting. Unless my friends lie somewhere near you now. A friend in need is a friend indeed. But a friend that's dead is a poor conversation. May they rest in peace. Ruptured, decomposing pieces. Who, like, who died down here? Okay, air chair, go, go be the lookout. What's this beef jerky? I don't need any more beef jerky. I haven't figured out how to use that stuff anyway. Oh, is this a hat? Well, I'm gonna put this on. There we are. Oh no, it fell off! Huh. My head's too slippery. Okay, so there's a note. There's some boots. Put on too much hair gel this morning. Can't wear a hat now. Okay, so there's a blank note. I've jotted down a note just in case. Okay, 25th February 1972. I write this note in the knowledge that it may well serve as my last will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the main shaft of the surface for what we believe to be three days, but with no daylight and increasing dehydration it's impossible to tell for sure. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that there could be a rescue team already on the way. We were all so positive at the start, but that seems long gone now. Renton was the first to crack, sometime during the first night. We all just lay there trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing and sobbing. Trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having given up so soon. The fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chances of survival get smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much, but the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through the rest of us like cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman, and he paid for it with his life. When he started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought he was crazy. There's only us down here, after all. So why would he need to get codes to access places we're all allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets, made us swear to keep them safe. Huh. Mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there. Doesn't get you much safer than that. We asked him who we were keeping them safe from, but he never said. It was a pain in the arse. 
is what it was. I had to trek all the way to that crazy biologist's office in the mining room this morning just to check the code for section C. Which is, which is, but he obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird, not crazy weird, just not normal. And that didn't stop a couple of them being carted off to the mainland Europe for psychiatric help. It was no one I knew well until the incident three days ago. We were in chemical storage when one of the guys, who had seemed pretty straight, just started shouting. It wasn't a normal kind of shouting. I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick with not normal. Anyway, he managed to hurt a couple of guys, damaged some equipment before we got him under control. Nothing serious. When we realized, when we released him, he seemed okay, phased, but all right. Didn't uh, really know where he was, far away, look in his eyes. Oh, that look. I'll remember that look for the rest of my life, even if there aren't many more of them. His pupils weren't dilated, they just seemed to take up more space than should be possible, black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high-rated explosive packs. We knew what he intended, it's on his eyes. Those eyes that, uh, those that could made a run for it. But the guy was already bearing down on the foreman and he didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it out to the exit shaft only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed on us, and now it's anyone's guess how many are still trapped down there. Jeez. The last thing I saw were those eyes. It seemed like they were staring at me. And me alone. Huh. It's an extra sheet, but there's nothing here. Miles Staten. Hang on. What's this? Blank, save for the smears of dirt. Um, do I have a pencil or... Save for the smears of dirt. It's a blank sheet of paper? Hmm. The water that's collected is browner than it should be. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, there's more lockers, so let's open the rest of them. There's dynamite and beef jerky. Another hat. Another friggin' rock in my way. Nothing. Okay, we got we got more lockers over here though. Let's take that. Batteries, batteries, painkillers. Beef jerky. Hmm. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so great. We can get out of here now. Although I didn't see the code. There. Now those things shouldn't bother me. He said it was in his locker. But all I found in his locker was the note that he wrote. Right? There's nothing else here? Oh, maybe I missed the... Oh, what's all this? Oh, tiles. Another major cave in. Damn! Looks like that might have been a route up to the surface. Can I really not squeeze through there? Hmm. Well, really. Main interest of mine, how many people worked down here? How many people died? Okay, so let's look one more time. I think there's something, there's something with this, but I'm just not sure what yet. Blacklight. Let's head back to the black light room. Um, and then we should be able to see a code on it. If I had to guess. So... Ah! Let's remember where... What was it? Um, what's it called? Shaft 12. Is that right? At least I have a pretty good idea where I'm going right now, so... Dog might chase me, but nope! He gave up pretty quick. I don't blame him. I'm too fast. 
Oh, I lost I lost my way here. Here. Okay, where are we? Yeah, we just want to go down here. And we'll head back to the black light. We'll check out this piece of paper. I'd put money on it that I'll be able to see the writing on it after that. Huh. Something caught my attention right there, but it was nothing. Okay. So let's get in here. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Ah, with the UV light, there's some text showing up on that blank piece of paper. 1371. 1371. And that's what we'll want to type into section C. Is that all that was on it, though? Hmm, I thought there were multiple rooms with locks on them. Okay, well, let's get over to section C now. We'll take a look at what's in there. We were making progress, so I knew that they, they wouldn't put that big old room in the game if it didn't have some significance, and that and that was it. We needed it to uh, see what was on this page. Look, it's got little notes. It'll tell me where to go for section C. Here we are. Making our way. <laughs> there we are. All right, let's see what treasures are behind door number C. <laughs> door number C. <laughs> All right. Ah, so it's like the next area. Chemical storage, where are we? Lake Taku. Can I go down here? Oops, oops. Man, those things. All right, let's see if this door is open. Yes, it is. Chemical storage. Well, we want to go... Really? The hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels with the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. But be careful. The shiny, solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two fools he met who plummeted into my domain have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the man became pungent, when the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. So he resorted to cannibalism to survive. Oh, why did I do that? There's no dog over here. We're gonna break stuff today! Um, so yes, this is Lake Utak Utakawa? Utako? I don't know. Wow, we can actually go in here. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Oh, this isn't what I expected. It says lake. Is there a lake down here somewhere? Oh. Well, not entirely. Just an old flare and some painkillers. Oops. Last will and testament of Joe Freeman. Oh, the year 2000. Wow. I, Joe Freeman, would like to leave all my personal belongings to my sister, May in the knowledge that she will distribute them wisely. We always used to say better to die young than to never live at all. I guess we're gonna get our wish. I know enough about survival to realize I won't be surviving much longer. Jono, my buddy, I just don't know. My left leg is broken in three places and I suspect I may also have shattered my pelvic bone. Three hours ago, after we'd set up camp, Jono set off to find some usable timber for the fire. When he got back, he was very excited. I couldn't work out what it was that had him so agitated, but I went along with it all the same. I should have recognized the signs. Soon after he got worse, he jumped me when I turned away, burying my face in the snow, trying to suffocate me. I still don't know what 
he found in the ice to enrage him so. Lucky for me, the ground gave way and we both fell. I landed hard on ice and desperately clawed my way onto more solid ground. I was running on adrenaline, didn't notice the pain. I just knew that if I was going to die, I didn't want it to be frozen in the frozen water beneath me. When you fall into a frozen lake, you don't just drown or freeze to death. Your whole body seizes up from the cold. Every instinct tells you to swim for the side, but your body won't let you. You gradually dip under the surface, your last breath expelled when you fell, but you don't drown there. And then your body shuts everything down, survives on what strength you have left. You can last for an hour, just floating there, slowly, slowly dying. Jeez. So now I'm lying here, my soaked cortex slowly freezing me in place. Me on one side of the lake, John O trapped on the other. I'm worried about him. From what I can see, from this side, his arm is dislocated. His shoulder blade fractured and his wrist is broken. I can't hear anything he yells, but he looks to be constantly muttering to himself, testing the ice with a crowbar from his pack. I don't know how he can stand the pain or where his strength is coming from, but at any rate, something strange happened to him. Fortunately for me, he can't cross the ice. It'll give way under his weight. The only way to cross would be to carefully spread your weight evenly across the surface. And he looks like he's in much too much of a rush for that. There's a lot of drugs in my system right now. I have another bottle of painkillers. There's enough to finish the job. I always said I'd rather die pushing the boundaries than drift away in my sleep. I guess I didn't mean that after all. I'd rather gently slip away than die cold and bleeding. Well, that was Joe Freeman, huh? I wonder what happened to Jono. So this might be tricky, getting across this lake. I might be able to do it with... Hmm, well, nothing I see here. A disused shed, who knows how old it is or who last used it. Let's take a look at this thing. When I use these now, I feel as if I'm not the only one. It's getting crowded in there. Like I'm just one visitor of many. Strange thing is, they all seem familiar. Okay, so the minute I go out onto this, it's going to crack, right? Do I run or do I like crawl? Honestly, if I could if I could get those boards, I might be able to How do I do this? Oh here. It looks solid, but not much is as it seems down here. So let's let's avoid this for now. It seems like I can step onto it just briefly. But I don't think that's a great idea. <laughs> um, so we'll go back and explore the other areas. Hmm. Because there was a whole nother... A whole nother uh, section. So... We gotta go through all of it. There's always a puzzle in these sections. Let's see, where was the map? Here, great. So... So I guess we'll head up to Chemical Storage, Incinerator Section B. So we'll make our way around. We're going to have some resistance with the dogs, but should work out okay. And we'll do all that on the next episode. I do appreciate you joining me on this one. This one was really fun, and I will see you on the next.